Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in to today's writing video. Now this week the writing videos will be more of a demonstration for you all because this week we are going to be focusing on completing some check-in activities for writing. So it's week 10, that means it's the last week of term three and this is going to be an opportunity for you all to show your teacher what you can do by yourselves and demonstrate your knowledge as best as you can. What I'll do first is show you the information that's on your week 10 writing slides for Monday and then I will show you how to complete your check-in activities for today. If we just hop onto the program structure slide, this will tell you exactly what you should be doing each day this week for writing. But it is a little bit flexible because if you finish your activities early, then you can move on to an early finisher task. Or if you still need some more time, you've got some time on Thursday to finish completing your check-in tasks. So you can see here that for lesson one on Monday, we've got some informative writing check-in activities. Then for lesson two on Tuesday, we've got another writing check-in for gathering information. Then in lesson three on Wednesday, we have another writing check-in for an information report. And for lesson four on Thursday, you can use that time to finish what you haven't completed if you've still got some work left over from your check-ins or there will be a writing choice board for early finishers. And then of course on Friday we have our catch up on home learning day so there are no writing activities set for Friday. So today I'll just be running through Monday's lesson, lesson one. And what you will need for this lesson is a device to watch the instruction video and complete the check-in. So the instruction video is actually what I'm recording right now. So once this set of slides goes up onto Google Classroom, I will have my video put up here in the middle and you will be able to access it and watch it. And then once you're done watching the demonstration video, you will be able to complete your check-in slides, which is the check-in activities for the day, and then submit your completed slides on Google Classroom. So once you have watched this instruction video, you will go to your lesson one slides, which is for Monday, and that is located in Google Classroom as an assignment in your Google Classroom for week 10. So the title of that should be Monday Lesson 1 Writing Check-In and that's how you will know that is today's work. So it tells you at the beginning that there are four things you'll be working on today. So you'll be doing first a fiction or non-fiction sentence sort, sequencing an information report, labelling an illustration, and finding the missing words. So on the first slide, we've got a fiction or non-fiction sort. Now, if you remember from the beginning of our informative text unit this term, we did quite a lot of that where we talked about what fiction is and what non-fiction is. And we spoke about how fiction means something that is not true and non-fiction is something that is true, it's a fact. So what you need to do is read the sentences here in the purple writing down the bottom and once you have decided whether it's fiction, not true, or non-fiction, true, then you can put it in the correct column. So I'm just reading the first sentence here, lions have sharp teeth. And I know that lions do have sharp teeth, that is the truth, it's a fact, so I'm going to put it in the non-fiction column. And then I'm going to read the other sentences and sort them into the correct columns there. Now there is a, a bit of a uh, in, instruction note at the top of every slide, every activity, and it says parents, you may read the sentences to your children 
then please allow them to complete the sorting task independently. So this is just a check-in just to, for, for students, an opportunity for them to show us their work and what they can do by themselves, what they have learnt this term. So it's fine, parents, if you are helping them out um, to, to read the instructions for each slide and to read the sentences, but for the actual sorting activity, it would be fantastic if you could allow the children to do this independently so we can see what they can do. Let's move on to the next activity. So the next activity is an information report about elephants, but it has been jumbled up. So on the left hand side here, we've got the headings for the different sections of the information report. And then over on this side in the colorful boxes, we've got the different sentences of the information report. So again, parents, if you are helping out, you can definitely read the information on the slide to your children, but we do ask that the children complete the matching task as independently as possible. So the first um, heading on the left-hand side says title. Now I might have a read through all of these sentences and I see this one here that says elephants. And I've decided that that's the title of the information report because it tells the reader what the report is going to be about. So I'll just move the other one over there and I'll move the elephants one there next to title because I believe that's the title of the information report. And then you complete the rest of the activity by sorting the other boxes and putting them in the right places. All right, let's move on to the next activity. So this next one is a labelled illustration of an elephant. And what you have to do is put the labels in the right places. So you can see here that this word says tail, but it's actually pointing to the elephant's ear. So we know that's in the wrong place. So what I would do is I would take the word and I will put it in the right place. So I'll move the incorrect ones and I can see there that, that is the point, it's pointing to the elephant's tail. So I'm going to put the word tail there. Awesome. You just need to do that for all the labels on that slide until they are all in the correct places. And finally, for the fourth and last activity for today, there is an information report, which you can see here in the middle of the slide. The title is Crocodiles. So it's a report about crocodiles. But as you can see, some words throughout the report are missing. So we need to use the words in the word bank down the bottom here, the blue words, and put them in the right places within the report. So we've already got here our title, crocodiles, then we've got classification and the sentence is not finished. So it starts with crocodiles are and then there's a word missing. Now I remember in the classification that's where I have to write what type of animal it is. Is it a mammal? Is it an amphibian? Is it a bird? Is it a reptile? And I know that crocodiles are reptiles so I'm going to pop the word reptiles on the line just there. And now that sentence is complete. So parents, if you are helping your children, you can definitely read out the headings like title, classification, appearance, etc. And you can read out the sentences, remembering to keep out the missing words, and then go through the blue words down the bottom in the word bank. And the children can then put them into the sentences independently. Then once you have done that, you can go to the final slide where it says, well done, you have completed today's writing check-in. Remember to submit your assignment in Google Classroom to show your teacher that you are done. 
Once you've completed your writing check-in activities for today, your work should save automatically onto the slides and all you need to do now is submit your assignment in Google Classroom. So you'll go back to Google Classroom and as you can see here, I've got an example of a Google Classroom where the person is already in classwork and you just need to find week 10, find your assignment for today, which is your Monday lesson one writing check-in assignment and click on view assignment. Then on the right hand side of your screen, you should see the blue turn in button and you need to click that so your teacher can see that you have submitted your check-in work for today. I hope this demonstration video has helped you with accessing your check-in slides today and completing the activities. Just remember this week is a great opportunity for you all to demonstrate your knowledge and to show Ms. Coot and I the great things you have learnt this term. So don't worry too much about whether your answers are right or wrong. Just give it your best shot, try your very best and remember to be proud of all the effort you have put in this term. So good luck and we can't wait to see what you do.